to the Buttercream and Bows Valentine's tutorial where we're going to be teaching you today how to make Valentino, which is our Valentine's teddy bear devil. Um, it's what we class as a beginner's cupcake, so it's really achievable. It'd be fantastic for Valentine's presents. Okay, and anybody, any age, any skill level could have a go at doing this. Um, if you want to visit our blog at www.buttercreamandbows.co.uk, you'll find the equipment list and the ingredients list to actually do this lovely little teddy. Okay, so we're going to start off with a bear cupcake, which is a vanilla cupcake, but you can choose any um, flavour you like. And we're going to actually pop some buttercream onto this. Not a lot. But what we're going to do is make it nice and smooth for our teddy bear's face to go onto. It doesn't have to be perfect, you're not going to see this. Okay. I'm using vanilla cupcake and vanilla buttercream, but you can choose any flavour you like. Okay. I'm actually just a little bit more on there. If you've got more of a domed cupcake, that doesn't matter. You could have a bit, of, a bit more of a domed look on the face of the teddy if you wanted to. Okay. Right then, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get some red sugar paste. Um, this is Renshaw's. It's already been coloured. Um, you tend to find when you're working with fondant, if you start colouring it and it's the darker colours, your hands are stained for some days. So... To avoid that, you can actually buy it already coloured. And fondant or sugar paste, as it's otherwise known, really likes the warmth of your hands. So give it a good knead almost and get that fondant feeling nice and pliable. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to roll this out fairly thin. Because the purpose of this is for the buttercream, the scruffy um, fur of the teddy to just sit on it. You don't really want to taste too much. Of the, of the fondant and sugar paste itself. So we're going to roll this out, as I say, fairly thin. So turning it 180 degrees until you're happy with the thickness of your fondant. Okay. We've got a um, pastry cutter here. One side's kind of scalloped for things like your lovely scones but uh, on the other side it's the flat side and that's what we're going to be using today. It should just kind of sit over the top of your cupcake like that. Okay, so we're just going to cut out that. Use your palette knife to just take that off the um, board and we're just going to place that on top. And as I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, you're not going to see this bit of the cupcake. If you're going to be doing vintage looking cupcakes and things like that, this isn't the technique I would use, that would be something completely different. Okay. So I'm happy with that, it's a nice smooth surface for us to start building our teddy bear face on. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do now is make his muzzle. So again, get some of your red flour paste and I think, sorry, sugar paste and what we'll do is we'll actually get something that's probably about the size, slightly bigger than a Malteser and roll it into a ball and then we're going to roll it back and forth until we make a little bit of a rectangle shape. So I'm looking for something about that size. A little bit of water. You can use edible glue as well, but actually water works just as well in this. A little bit of water on top of there, popping his muzzle into position. Okay. So next up, we're going to do his ears. Actually, for his ears, you are looking for something about the size of a Malteser. Drop it down and literally, with your thumb, just flatten that down so you get a nice circular shape there. It doesn't have to be perfect, this is going to be covered with buttercream, you're not going to see it. And then with our palette knife we're just going to cut that in half. And then just get your thumb 
and make a little indentation into the centre of the ear and maybe give it a little bit of a bend. Okay, and then we're going to just again get our paintbrush with a little bit of water onto the top of the cupcake. And we're going to position those ears into place. And of course, we've got to leave room for his horns as well. So we've got to make sure that we have positioned these ears in the right place. Okay, so those are his ears and they're in position now. We're going to give him a little bit of expression on his muzzle now. Um, really simple, you can use the, the um, smooth end of a knife or your palette knife. And literally, just make an impression into the sugar paste, down like that. And then if you'd like to give him a smile, you could actually use the sharp side of the knife and actually cut the smile in. Or you could use a cutter, this is a small rose petal cutter, but you can use any cutter that's kind of got that circular shape at the bottom. And we're gonna hold it at an angle and just make an indentation of the smile into the fondant. Really simple way of doing that. Okay, so now what we need to do is to start piping. We need to start piping his um, scruffy fur. Um, again, please refer to the blog for all the equipment that you need. This is a number six nozzle. And what we're looking for is nice peaks, really, on the buttercream. Do a few test squeezes first to make sure that that buttercream is coming out nicely. Okay. Buttercream is very temperature sensitive, so if you're not happy with it and it needs warming up, there's no other word for it, just massage it really. And get it nice and warm. I'll put our Teddy's ear back on there. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover this entire area, other than the muzzle, with the buttercream. And we're going to start just at the bottom. And we're just going to cover the entire area all around his muzzle. This is nice and soft buttercream. Doesn't take very long to do, and as I say, it does not have to be perfect. You can also adapt this look, you know, if you like the look of the Forever Friends, if you like the look of Tatty Teddy, any of those kind of cute little teddies that you see around in the shops, you can adapt the colours to make it look like that. Okay, so we're just going to go over the ears as well. Oops. Just cover the entire area so that we can't see any of that red sugar paste that we initially put on. And okay, and just the top of his little ears here. So we've now covered our teddy bear with um, his fur, which is fantastic. So the next stage is going to be his eyes. Um, now the eyes, we're going to use um, sugar paste, just white sugar paste for this. And we're going to roll out fairly thinly. And we're going to use cutters actually to cut out his eyes. I mean, you can... Pull a bit of the sugar paste off if you want and actually roll it into shape and then press down if you want to make the oval shapes in that way. But for those of us that have OCD, like me, um, and you like uniformity, what actually works really well are these little oval cutters that you can buy and they're plungers and they're really, really handy. So I'm just going to roll out some flour paste, some sugar paste, sorry. You don't need a lot. All we're going to be doing here is the little uh, white back of the eyes here. And using our cutter, we're just going to make contact with the mat, give it a little wiggle, and pull away, and we're left with our two oval shapes. Now, whilst we've got the white sugar paste in our hands, what I'd recommend you do 
is as you can see here he's got a little um, white pupil which will go on top of the black in a moment and he's got a little white um, little shine spot on his nose as well so whilst you've got the white in your hands what I'd recommend you do is actually pull off some um, sugar paste and actually roll those now because when you then start to work with black and red you can get quite a bit of colour contamination which is um, a bit of a pain actually and you have to start washing your hands and one colour will rub off onto another okay so then what we'll do is we'll roll out some black sugar paste for the black bit of the eye that's going to go on top of that again whenever you haven't used the sugar paste for a bit just give it a little bit of a, a massage and actually get it working again before you start rolling it out Okay, so we're just going to roll out some black sugar paste and we're going to use the next size down in the oval shape cutters for the, uh, for the eye. Okay, so that's the next size down. So make contact with the mat, just give it a little bit of a wiggle and pull away. Okay, and then using your palette knife, a little bit of water. Just going to put some water onto the white area there. And use your palette knife to just position that into place. And once you've done that, a little bit more water, and then you put your little white spot on top. Now, in true Blue Peter style, here are some eyes that I made earlier. And what we're going to do is just make a little bit of an indentation. Just above the muzzle there, I'm going to pop these eyes into position. I'm just going to need to turn it around for one second to make sure that I've got this right. I'm going to have them quite close together. Okay. So next up is his nose. Now, as it's Valentine's Day, what I thought was Quite a sweet idea if you want to. You could make his nose in the shape of a heart, as you can see on this one. It's just been moulded into a bit of a triangular nose. That's fine. To do that, you just pull off a little bit of the flower paste, roll it into a ball, and then use your fingers to actually just make that into a triangle shape like that. And then just flatten it down. And that can be popped into position. Or, if you like the idea of having a little heart for his nose, because it is Valentine's Day after all, we'll just roll out the flower paste again. And again, it's a plunger cutter, and you can buy these from any of your cake stores online as well. Make contact with the mat, give it a little wiggle, pull away the rest. And we're just going to get our palette knife to help us position that onto Mr Bear's nose. Now there's one I've done earlier and we've put the little shine spot on there already. So that will just go into position on there, but first of all we just need a little bit of water. And on it goes. And we just want to define the ears a little bit here. As you can see there's some little black sections there for the ears. I think it just helps to define them really. Um, to do that you're going to need again probably about the size of a Malteser. Roll it into a ball, drop it down and just use your thumb to make a circular shape. Again it does not have to be perfect. And use your palette knife to just halve that. And then those will go into position just where his ears are there. Okay. Just push them nicely into place. Okay, and then the only thing that's left now are these little devil's horns, which Really, really easy to make. The easiest thing to do is, again, work on about the size of a Malteser, roll it into a ball, and then literally roll a sausage. If 
Then at the ends, just use your index fingers and just roll the ends that, that slight bit thinner. Moustache, no, it's actually devil's horns. And what we're going to do is cut that in half and just check for size. Now I think they're going to be far too big for the size of this cupcake, but that's okay. I'm just going to pull that into kind of position. Cut them to size. Yep. Happy with that. And then just sink those into the buttercream. What you can always do as well is when you've sunk these into position is to just get your buttercream and just pipe just at the back to give it that little bit of support that it might need. And there you have it. Another Valentino. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial um, from Buttercream and Bows. Um, if you want to find any more information about the classes that we do, all the way from beginners right up to very advanced wedding cakes, please visit www.buttercreamandbows.co.uk and please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.